Welcome to Talmudic Treasures. Today we're learning Yevamos page 59, which teaches us the laws of a widow and a divorced woman with regard to whether she's allowed to marry a Kohen. Now a Kohen who in the times of the temple was involved in the service as well as eating various sacrificial parts which had to be done with great levels of holiness and sanctity because of that we have additional restrictions as to whom they're able to marry now a non-kohen is certainly allowed to marry a woman who was divorced he certainly is allowed to marry a woman who was a widow however when it comes to a regular kohen the law is that he is not allowed to marry a woman who was once divorced, which we can understand in modern day dating that becomes a little bit problematic if you are in a situation that you are a little bit older and a male Kohen. So at a certain point, you may be dating women who potentially could be a great match, but if they were already married and divorced, they are off the table. It's not a possibility for you to be able to even date them for marriage because it's something which is not allowed. A Cohen cannot marry a divorced woman. Now, it's interesting to point out that this law is not only if she got divorced after she's already been married, after the wedding ceremony, but even if all they did was Kedushin, which we'll loosely call the engagement, which is really, again, the man giving something of monetary value to his wife-to-be. So even though they're not completely married yet, nonetheless, if they get divorced, that also will be enough that a Kohen can no longer potentially marry her. There's a greater, higher level of a Kohen known as the Kohen Gadol, the high priest that did many things in the temple that only he could do, especially on the holiday of Yom Kippur. And we have even additional restrictions. Not only is he not allowed to marry a woman who was once divorced, he's also not allowed to marry a woman who was a widow. A regular Kohen may marry a widow, but a Kohen Gadol, a high priest, is not allowed to do so. And again, just like when it comes to divorce, if in fact this woman who was a widow was only uh, at the time of Kedushin, namely her husband died and they were not completely married yet, nonetheless that would already still constitute being an almana, this widow, that no longer is this high priest allowed to marry her.